Greetings everyone. Welcome back to my channel Data Sculptor. Today we are going to see another interesting question. So this time you have a table called bookings and you have columns booking ID, booking date and room number and for each of the room you have the booking date so the date um, when whenever the room is booked. So if you see the output you have two columns booking date and room number and again it has booking date and room number. Just by seeing the input and the output we need to initially understand what is the logic to get it. So let's go back to SQL Server Studio and try to see what is the logic behind it and how to re retrieve this logic or retrieve this output using SQL. So if you are unable to find the logic or understand the logic behind uh, retrieving the output here it is. So basically you need to return the columns booking date and uh, room number. So the booking date should be the date where the room is empty. So here for room, uh, room number 101 from uh, Jan 1st till Jan 5th okay it is filled only on 1st, 2nd and 4th. 3rd and 5th is empty and for ro room number 102 it is booked only on 1st and 5th. So 2, 3 and 4 it is empty. So that's the re records we need to retrieve. So now let's see how to get that using SQL. So to find the uh, dates um, maximum and minimum so for in this uh, example we need to return uh, Jan 3 and Jan 5 but Jan 3 uh, is a, as an entry is not present in this table and Jan 5 as an entry is present in this table but not present for room number 101. So what is the logic we need to follow? First thing what I will do I will retrieve all the dates uh, starting from Jan 1st till Jan 5th that is the minimum of the uh, date booking date present in this table till the maximum of the booking date present in this table okay so how do we achieve that how do we achieve the consecutive dates so that is the question we get so to get that we need to use a recursive CTE so first what I will do for recursive CTE is just simple with CTE as so first we will declare the CTE and inside the recursive CTE we need to create an anchor query so anchor query is the starting point of the query so here the starting point is select from bookings so here the starting point is the minimum of the date so minimum of the booking date minimum of booking date as booking date and here we'll do a union all and based on this uh, CT initial anchor query we'll retrieve the entire data so how to retrieve the next set of data so select from CT here we'll add uh, we'll use the date add function so date add function is nothing but it will add one day to the booking date so here the booking date initial booking date is jan 1st so i need to retrieve jan 2nd based on the jan 1st uh, data so how do we do that we'll add use the data day we want to add it in day uh, comma uh, 1 comma booking date so so day comma 1 comma booking date so here this booking date is there so that and we need to stop the CTE somewhere so we need to stop the recursion so we'll add to we'll need to add a condition that breaks the recursive recursion so where booking date is less than the maximum date so select max of booking date from bookings so here what I am trying to do so initially here I will get the minimum date, minimum booking date that is in this in uh, data Jan 1st is the minimum booking date so I initially I taken Jan 1st I will add one day to Jan 1st and it will return me Jan 2nd so this particular query will return me Jan 2nd because we are using the data and if we do not write this condition you will keep on adding the dates till infinite right but that is not what we want we want to stop that somewhere so here we need to add a condition where booking date is less than select max of booking date from bookings so here the booking date maximum is Jan 5th right so we want only the dates from Jan 1st till Jan 5th so here the select max of uh, booking date from bookings will give you Jan 5th right so now let's use the select star from CTE and see if you are getting the required output so select star from CTE is not working because group by having or aggregate functions are not allowed 
in the recursive part so here we cannot use uh, uh, we can in the breaking conditions we cannot use uh, the uh, aggregate functions so in order to break, uh, complete this fix this how do we do we create a variable some some variable with the data type and whatever value is this we just assign that value to this variable and here we just replace that value with less than or equal to at the rate a this is the variable and now if we run this we will get the data from jan 1st till jan 5th so remember here we are not, we are using less than but not less than equal to so in earlier in my earlier videos in the, this recursive ct playlist i have explained this why i have used less than but not less than equal to i will suggest you to watch all those videos uh, because you'll get a better understanding why we are using less than but not less than equal to okay so this select star will give you all the dates from jan 1st till jan 5th now what i'll do i'll do a simple cross join cross join and uh, bookings cross join bookings b on so cross join bookings and here in the output i want so if with all these booking dates i want to cross join with all the room numbers so here b dot room number comma a dot booking date when i do the cross join cross join is nothing but simple cartesian product of two columns so we all know what a cartesian product returns so for we have two rooms uh, sorry two rooms 101 and 102 and we have five dates so if we yeah we have two rooms and we have five dates and uh, if we run this we need to get 10 rows so how many are getting yeah sorry we need to get 10 rows but we are getting lot of rows we are getting 25 rows that is because we are here in the bookings table the book, uh, room number is duplicated so what i'll do i'll just write the distinct here so distinct room number comma uh, booking date so when i run this query you are getting for room number 101 5 rows with all the dates from first to fifth and room number 102 with five rows with all the dates from first to fifth okay so now what i'll do since we need to return the dates where the booking did not happen right so i'll simply apply a left join left join bookings c on b dot room number is equal to c dot room number and a dot booking date is equal to c dot booking date so here what i'm trying to do with this data set i am trying to do a left join on the booking uh, bookings table suppose if there is a match I have joined on, on both the room number as well as booking date. So suppose if there is a match, uh, say for the first row, for Jan 1st and room number 101, if there is an entry, the C, the output, the uh, C dot star, so the output in the, from the C column will not be blank. So whatever these values are there, it will be returning. If the, if in this example, if you see, uh, for room number 101, Jan 3 is missing. So for the Jan 3, you'll get a null output, null values for the uh, C, C dot star. So now let's run and see what we are getting here. So if you see for Jan 3rd and for room number 101, since this does not have an entry in the bookings table, it is null. And similarly for room number 102, these three days are not booked. So that's why it is null. So to return the room number and the booking date, we just need to write this where condition where, so C dot booking id c dot c dot booking id is null so whenever the c dot booking id that means on the right side of the join in the left join if that value is null that means that no, that entry is not present in the left side of the table and we want those entries only so here i'll apply where c dot booking id is null you can apply anything where you can apply c dot booking id as well as c dot booking date or c dot room number anything will give you the same result so if you run this you are getting this output for 101 jan 3 and jan 5 the room is not booked for 102 uh, jan 2nd 3rd and 4th the room is not booked say instead of uh, booking id i'll use room number okay so and if i run this it is still the same okay so in the c in the bookings table you can apply any column because all the columns in the bookings uh, c i mean the alias c will be null so any column you can apply in the where condition so this is how you get the 
room numbers which uh, and the booking dates where booking did not happen so hope you all understand understood the solution so just give you a, giving you a quick recap first thing you need to retrieve all the dates present in the uh, you need to retrieve all the dates using a recursive CTE so you might be asking why can't we use directly distinct dates from the book, uh, booking date you can use it but if you see some dates are missing if, if you feel that in the initial data set if all the dates are present um, then you can use the uh, directly the uh, distinct of uh, the booking date but here in this small data set few dates are missing like Jan 3rd is missing so in order to get that also we need to use the recursive city and the next thing is the uh, cross join so we need to get this idea of the cross join so whenever if in these kind of scenarios say whenever identify the data that is missing and all always think about cross join okay and this is a simple left join so hope you all like this video if you like this video please click on the like button and also click on subscribe button to watch more videos thank you have a nice day